Hello friends, welcome to WebScript.info. My name is Rizwan Khan and we are going to continue our Web Messenger project series. So let's start with the UI and I'm going to uh, complete this UI as fast as possible because uh, the purpose of this uh, project is not to work on CSS a lot. So I'm going to get my CSS from my existing project. So just uh, wait. So now I'm going to create my header first. So in my components folder, create a folder like header. And then again, I'm going to say index.js and then style.css in your index.js RFC shortcut for component. And we'll say header. And I'm going to show you some magic over here. Yep. So this is our header, our header tag, the class name header, and inline style, display flex, a messenger, logo, left menu, and then a nav link. So obviously I need to import a nav link from hyphen react hyphen router tom. So let's import the nav link nav link what else uh, nav link is fine then again we have link over here so let's import link also and link okay cool so link nav link and all of them also i'm going to create a css file so i'm going to import that uh, import style dot css that's it save now i'm going to get my css over here so now I'm going to get my CSS and all the source code will be available in my repository and the link will be available in the description of this video. So don't worry about that. And just let's paste over here, save. And we have already imported style.css so all the style will be applied. And go back to your app.js file and app.css file and remove everything like all the default style over here. So uh, we are going to remove uh, CSS from app.css file, save and then app.js file we have over here. And uh, okay, cool. And also I'm going to include a font family in my index.html file. And here is the file. So let me get the uh, index uh, for some font, some great font, fonts dot fonts. fonts.google.com so I'm going to get a uh, Montserrat where is that let's search uh, you can ta uh, take any font of your choice Montserrat this is kind of my favorite so let's get it Montserrat and I'm going to take uh, uh, some of them, like uh, 400, okay, and then 500, medium, that's all. Okay, so go to your embed tab and copy this link, that's all I need to do. And in your uh, index.html file, inside the public folder, paste over here. And also change the title of your app, like change it to web messenger, save it and back to your index.js file, uh, sorry, your app.css file and write some uh, uh, default, uh, change some default styling like uh, margin. That's enough and go to your index.js file so our header is also done go to your uh, layout file and remove this header from here and add your header what I have just created okay so I have added uh, I have also imported that header file and just end with semicolon 
okay now go to your page level uh, files container files yeah, and index uh, let's go to the home page first next to chase and instead of just div i will say layout and hit enter so it will grab the layout also uh, it will import it automatically and inside this i'm gonna say dev home save okay cool and okay now go to your browser to see the changes and reload the page and you can see what i have a web messenger a header uh, with a link like login sign up and in the middle of that i have hi there's one hi there's and logout so this is a home page right also i'm going to create a i have a link that is in my text uh, in my header so you can see in index.js file i have login link with forward slash login and sign up with forward slash sign up so let's see uh, i have already created uh, the uh, routes you can see in the app.js file right so here forward slash login forward slash sign up let's test this uh, login and yeah well it's working so now uh, we are going to add that layout in the login file also so over here i'm going to include layout head enter and it will import your file or component now go inside and paste over here that's it save also for the uh, register page right index.js and remove your default or cut it from here say uh, layout and then your register page okay now back to your browser uh, reload and it should uh, reload automatically right so login we have again the same header but you can see the content is changed login or page sign up we have register page and that's all now i'm going to uh, add uh, i'm going to remove so i'm going to do some changes based on this so first i will include the form as well so i can uh, do some changes right i can uh, remove this login sign up when user is user will be logged in okay so let's uh, go over here and so now let's write couple of states and all uh, for the form so now we are in our index.js page and so first i'm going to create a, a, a card a reusable card and it will be very simple so don't worry i'm not going to take a lot of time just uh, let me write ui folder and inside this i'm going to create no uh, inside this i'm going to create a folder again that is card and inside this one file index.js and again one file style.css and here I'm, I will say index.js rfc and we'll say card and card will be nothing just simple card and with like props dot children okay save and import the css file so actually it will not take much time right style.css css i'm curious about css okay uh, okay cool uh, and style.css now we are going to uh, do some css over here so we'll say the card now back to your uh, in okay so we are uh, our card is uh, almost ready um, go back to your home page no not home page sorry not move and uh, go to your uh, login file index.js and create a full create a add the card inside this so we'll say card and card will be imported automatically and then again we are going to write our form over here form okay and we'll say simply login save now back to your browser reload okay so we have a lock in and we are not seeing any card right card and uh, style index.js okay we have to apply the class name equals to card save now go back and you can see the card is available with this 100 percent right so i'm going to uh, i'm going to add some width to my parent class name equals to login container 
and here I have the style.css and I have login container with 400 pixel position relative margin top and bottom 50 left right auto so it will be centered and margin will be top and bottom 50 pixel right go back again index.js save and reload you can see and it's not working so login container and yeah i haven't imported the style sheet over here import style.css save and now we have our uh, login page right go back and we'll i will create some state and then we'll uh, design it no no problem at all so we'll say here uh, we'll create uh, an email address and password right so i will create state um, for in this uh, hook uh, in this functional component using react hooks and i have uh, given a detailed video of all these hooks and state and everything in my previous uh, blog uh, react.js blog project and there are also like uh, some uh, tutorial series of react.js you can watch all of those so let's create const email and then set email to set the email value so email is a value set email is a function to set the email right and this is coming from a hook that is use state and initial value of the email will be empty and the same will for the password and here we are going to write password okay and then we'll say the set password okay now initial value will be empty uh, we are going to add the login uh, input input and we'll say type equals to uh, text uh, value will be uh, email right so email and uh, on change will call a function set email to set the uh, value right so we'll say it will be a arrow function set email and also like on change uh, gives a uh, event so e and then we'll say e dot target dot value okay and also the placeholder will be email okay so type value on change and uh, name also that is not important optional but yeah i'm going to write it okay uh, now save it and also copy this input one more time copy and here uh, we are going to write uh, for password so name will be password and type will be password and value will be password and instead of set email it will be set password okay and target will be same like value placeholder will be password Okay, save now we need a button right so we'll say div and then button and then log in okay save okay now back to your uh, form and you can see I have the email I have the password right I will uh, design it don't worry I will give you some magical CSS uh, and also the link of the CSS okay so this is the email and also we need it for the password uh, for the form right so i'm gonna say over here uh just uh, uh, copy no not copy save and back to your uh, register index.js file and here i'm gonna say uh, the same thing right so i'm going to remove this i'll say uh, the dev and class name will be uh, so i already have a style in this file and that is a uh, register container copy and i will use the same class over here register container and then again card sorry it's card and my keyboard really sucks now uh, what i'm going to do i'm add i'm going to add some state right within the form and here first uh, let me write some states
password now create some functions so go to your index.js file and copy the input index register and we'll simply paste over here and also we'll use h1 or no h3 4 whatever tag uh, let's say sign up okay so this will be our first name Sign up. Cool. Now uh, go to your browser and so card is not defined, right? Let's import the card. So I'm using card here, right? Let's import it. And call on import card from and it is components, then UI, and then finally card. Okay, that is UI, right? Components, card, it is not coming, right? Something wrong. UI and card. Save it. Now back to browser. Can't resolve card. I know that. There's some problem. Import card from components, UI, card. How it is working in the login page, right? Oh, 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 mistake. It shouldn't be layout, right? Uh, okay, that's a mistake. Uh, SRC and components and layout. Uh, UI should be outside of the layout, right? So let's uh, cut from here and paste within the component. and okay okay copy close the layout paste within components ui is there right the file has been created and we have to delete this ui move to recycle bean and continue and it is not going to be delete. Yeah, otherwise, yeah, delete permanently. A lot of trouble, right? Uh, okay, I think I'm using this card right now, so that's why that's the problem. So let's go index.js, login page, and uh, remove this layout right now. I'm not importing it from this components and go to register page so now i think we are able to delete it right so layout and this index style and then ui is separately uh, written here right so that's fine and go to register.page index.js and kind of yeah back to your browser and this is well right login sign up both are done so first we will uh, do the sign up process then we will come back to the login and in case of firestore when you are doing uh, sign up and if you are successfully registered then you will be logged in automatically okay let me show you how so let's get back to text editor and uh, okay we are going to create some functions actions stores and all and i totally forgot about that so uh, let's create the store first uh, not the components src and here i'm going to create a store store and then let's create an index file index.js right store index.js and so store is nothing but simply you have to import a function from the redux library that is create store so you can see the hint and you can import it from the redux right and 
you can see create store uh, I am requiring it and that's totally not my way why it is importing like that port from redux sorry and we'll say create a store right and const store equals to create store okay and export default store so what is store takes store takes uh, the first argument uh, the and and and, and uh, first argument will be the reducer that is nothing but a, a function so you can simply write it an arrow function over here that's it so we will create a reducer too okay now inside the store uh, not a store I will create one more folder uh, within the SRC that is reducer reducers okay and then again a file index.js and here I'm gonna say a reducer right so export default and we'll say the reducer and arrow function right and also uh, in this store index that import this reducer now import root reducer from um, let's get the reducer that is reducers okay root reducer and just simply give it here root reducer cool and uh, go to your again index.js file and here you have to return something like a return a default state return a state like a, a user or this one So that's uh, oh sorry this is not PHP right and user will be this one this is work okay so that that's a default um, and, uh, I'm just initializing uh, initial value right and I will replace it just for the testing purpose right and next thought also our store is here create a store and uh, we'll go to the index.js file and we'll we will uh, add the providers and all so index.js file and here so this is our uh, render function right I will, uh, I will add a provider import uh, provider from uh, react hyphen redux okay so we'll simply call provider right and we'll add the provider over here so here provider and we'll say so simply wrap your uh, uh, the render component app uh, within the provider okay that is fine save and scroll down so your provider is ready now I have to get the store port and we'll say store 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 it's a default import right store from mm, get the store right sorry src and we'll say the store so that's the index.js file so it will come automatically right and here I'm gonna say store equals to store also uh, my uh, for testing I'm going to create a variable a global variable within the window object store equals to store so I can see it changes in the browser right uh, store right and store is done uh, we have our reducer over here and uh, we have our store over here 
okay cool and uh, okay that's all we have a uh, uh, setup uh, so we have done our setup of uh, redux okay react redux okay uh, okay i have created a store uh, app property in the window object and let's see window dot store we see so from the redux i'm getting a couple of functions like dispatch trace pass the action get state place reduce and, and all so let's see uh, what i have i have added initial state store dot get a state and you can see here a user is one so i'm getting uh, this one in my uh, window object uh, in, in the store right so that's so uh, working well i have my things over here i'll go back and uh, so this is our reducer right uh, i have to create actions also so we'll say here uh, within not within the component within the src folder level i will create the actions actions uh, okay actions and within the actions uh, let's i will create file index.js and that is the root file of the action and i will create one more file for auth auth dot action actions dot js so you can give it any name uh, auth dot js or auth actions dot js or auth dot actions dot js it makes more sense to me or you can easily find your files if you have a lot of uh, actions right so you can just simply type uh, actions dot js then you'll get the list of actions so over here i have other actions and i will uh, create uh, actions over here right so we'll say uh, right now uh, i don't have any actions but i can go index.js file and i will say here uh, export uh, everything asterisk from and the file name is auth actions right so in this way i can create a couple of actions and i will or I will import all the actions in this uh, root file and then from the, I will I'll, I'll simply have to import this actions and then it will be available right so here I'm gonna say actions let's say const or export export and we'll say const and uh, first action will be sign up right so sign up equals to I'm going to get a user object right and here I'm gonna say so uh, user and I will return a function an arrow function okay and so I'm using redux thunk as a middleware that allows me to return a function with the dispatch property and th that is only possible because of the redux thunks right so I have to add that middleware to dispatch and now here I have to get the fire store import okay now from fire base and here i'm gonna say uh, what i want you can uh, directly import the firebase or you can individually import only the required modules which are required so i'm going to get the auth right from the firebase so here auth and we'll say an auth uh, and also the database so that is fire uh, fire store Firestore is our database, right? And we'll say const db equals to uh, fire store. And okay, now we have our db connections and fire store. Okay, and next to uh, what we are going to have a uh, auth call the auth, and then so it is going to uh, provide some functions like create. Uh, you can see what we have create user with email and password. So this is available uh, from the fire store, Firebase, right? And it takes uh, a property, two proper, uh, two parameters, email and password, to make the uh, to register the user. So we'll say simply user dot email, and the second will be user dot password. Okay, and this create user with email and password returns a promise, right? So I can make use of the function then, and then I will, I will get some data let's say the user and then we'll simply uh, console the user right console dot log and user okay cool up to here no doubt if you have any doubt you can comment in the comment section and catch will be to get there slight console dot log 
and error will be here save it so we have created our very first function to create the user and i haven't added any like uh, validation and all but don't worry i will do that so uh, now uh, we are uh, we have this sign up we are exporting this sign up in this index.js file so i can import these actions in the uh, login or register file right so go and find your register containers register.page index.js page and simply import and I will say the actions right so yeah not actions from uh, we'll say go out and one more directory or store and then finally I'm going to get actions and here I will get a lot of actions different actions right so one of them is sign up you can see the hint I'm getting sign up right save and I'll write some functions like uh, on, on submit on submit sorry on submit equals to no I'm going to write a function const and the function will be like a uh, register user so you can create any function right and uh, we'll get the uh, first name last name email and password so I'm going to get it all of them const or simply uh, I need one more uh, function uh, one more hook that is to dispatch an action so we'll say dispatch equals to use dispatch okay so you have to import this use dispatch from your read over here use dispatch from the react redux cool no issue and simply write over here dispatch and uh, here uh, I have to uh, call that function sign up and here I need to pass a user object so we'll say simply const user equals to uh, first name first name uh, last name password email right so and we'll simply pass this user okay user object so I can access password and email easily right and write in a proper order or oh, it doesn't matter but yeah, I am proper right so fine so we have our user object we have a registry user function and we are going to call this function on submit register user and also uh, when we are going to submit a form we need to avoid the default behavior of the browser right so submit uh, before uh, uh, you know, when we are going to execute this function we'll have to simply say event dot prevent default it will avoid the default behavior of the browser it will not refresh the okay so we are done with our register action now go and reload the page hopefully it is already reloaded because it's hot reloaded so clean it and try to register once again Let's say uh, uh, okay res1 and khan and we'll say uh, res at the rate gmail.com password one two three four five six now try to sign up and we have got an error action must be plain object use custom middleware for async action so for the normal actions if you are not making any api call then it will work fine but if you are going to make an api, API call that is an async request and you'll get this uh, error right so that's why we have installed a redux thunk uh, if you want to make a asynchronous call and the explanation uh, you will be fine uh, you can find in my previous videos uh, in especially in my uh, explanation of the react.js tutorial right so right now you just need to uh, do simple thing auth.actions and here you have to say so what we need to do is we need to simply make this uh, async so it will be an asynchronous function now it will not return before the completion of this auth okay once it will be completed then only it, this function will be returned and we have we have to specify also in the store we are using a synchronous function so within the index 
I'm going to add the second parameter apply that is apply middleware and it is going to be thunk okay so you have to need uh, you have to get two things apply middleware from the redux library and thunk from the redux thunk that's all we were that this is all boilerplate or configuration whatever you can say it now reload it's automatically reloading and a clearer console okay some problem now clear your console waiting for a pre signal right and now clear console right uh, this one last name Han password will be or is uh, sorry email whether it's email.com password will be one two three four five six okay now type sign up one two three four five six okay now type sign up and it is making call and now finally you have something in your console so now you can see we have a, a, a object we have printed uh, the data uh, we have printed the response from the fire store if you open this you can see a lot of information like uh, you can see some properties from the server additional user info and like is a new user it is also giving the information yeah it's a first time user so you have just created it that's why it is new user and you are getting true operation type is sign in and the most important is the user object if you go and you can see the email is at the red email dot com and you have a couple of information like display name we haven't created any display name and we have a refresh token so this refresh token is for the purpose of verifying a user is logged in or not and also we have a uid that is a unique id for every user right now let's verify it from the fire store let's go and see fire store cloud fire store and the code console and this is not the user right so i have to log out from here of this email now log out uh, login from this one So here we have created that web messenger project inside this web messenger project waiting for analytical data and you can see authentication so this is over here click over here and boom what we have identifier is at the red gmail.com providers is email created june 29 sign in june 29 and user id so this user id we are going to use to store other information like the first name last name and couple of information like uh, user profile picture and a lot of things you we can store in the database right so like this we can create multiple users we have created our users successfully so i'm going to end this video it is going to be uh, long enough so thank you guys thanks for watching thanks for staying with me till now and uh, okay and also don't forget to share this video with your friends share the knowledge uh, educate the world thank you so much